Hi everybody, I'm Mikey and this is part of the Advent Calendar series that is a crochet along. For those working on the crochet along with me, every few days a new video will be available to advance you to the next part of your project. There are 15 tutorials in all to complete today's project. If you're finding this and the crochet along is done, all videos will stay up indefinitely. In the more information of this video, you'll find a link to the playlist where all the tutorials will be listed in order for you to play along. The entire pattern is now available for free. For those who don't need a video, refer to the video description to get redirected to the pattern. So in the meantime, let's begin with today's tutorial to advance you to the next step and of course wishing you the very best of the festive season ahead. In continuing with Advent, we're now going to do the stocking. There's a lot of written instructions for the stocking because the heel is involved, but this is actually a functional stocking. You can put your finger in behind it. You can put something small in there if you wanted to, and it's a really cute idea. So this is a miniature stocking that we're gonna be doing for Advent next, using your five millimeter size H crochet hook today. So as we start this today, we're going to be starting at the top of this and then working our way down and then to the base like so. So we're not doing the toe up, we're doing the leg down. Let's begin. We're gonna use white and then I'm gonna use another color here for my stocking. So let's begin. We're gonna start at the top of the stocking using our white and we are going to start with a slip knot and then chain our total of 14. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Once you have that done, um, what we're going to be doing is that we're going to go third chain from the hook and we're gonna do one half double crochet in each of the chains all the way down. So third chain, so one, two, and three, and go third chain down, and then go one half double crochet in each, going all the way down. So once you get all the way to the end, this is the end of this color, so just snip it and I want you to just to just weave in this yarn here. This is the top of the cuff. The back of the leg is sewn into position once it's done at the end of this project. So it's not done like as a round circle, uh, around and around like a typical uh, stocking maybe. It all depends on the design of course, but uh, this is how this one is done. So just weave this in and then let's get ready to add our next color. So let's turn our work and start our next color. So I'm gonna use red just for the fun of it. And what I want to do is that I want to create a slip knot first. And we're gonna work in the front loops only. So we're gonna start on the very first one here and just when you fasten on, just go to a front loop only. So if you're new to crochet, there's always two strands. The front one is the front loop and the next one is the back loop and together they equal a stitch. So just starting off on the front one, just attach. just like so and then chain one and then one single crochet into that one and then moving down the front loops only you want to just put in a single crochet. Okay, so just get rid of this yarn. So single crochet in the front loop only all the way down like this. So please do that all the way down. I'll see you at the end of this row. So now at the very end and I'm just gonna turn my work and now we're gonna do the leg so it's two inches tall. So we have to get ourselves up to a little bit of height. So we're gonna do the same thing each one now. We're gonna chain up one and just one single crochet into each stitch going all the way across. And then when you get to the other side just turn your work and single crochet back across and you wanna do it so that your total height is then two inches. Okay, so it won't take you long to get there. Um, it's just back and forth just one single crochet in each. Okay, so when you get to the other side, last stitch in, turn your work, chain up one, and one single crochet each. So please do that now until your stocking then measures two inches and then meet me back here in just a moment. Okay, once you get your two inches done, I want you to fasten off this color and weave in your ends and then we're gonna continue then with doing the heel next. So just weave it in. And then we're gonna start doing the heel. I gotta read the instructions, figure out what I'm doing first. <laughs> uh, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? With these patterns. But they're a lot of fun and you can have a lot of great ideas with this. So that's it. So I'm gonna turn my work and then I'm gonna get ready. I'm just gonna leave that in for a moment and then I'll be right back. 
Okay, so let's begin. I'm just gonna trim off this yarn. I left it on just in case I needed it. So what we need to do is that we need to skip the first nine stitches here and then there needs to be a total of three stitches left over at the end. So you can either just skip the nine and count back or you can just count back three. So one, two, and three. So that's where we're gonna start. It's the third stitch from the back here. Okay, so now let's uh, just add this yarn here with a slip stitch. We're gonna chain one and we're gonna single crochet into the same one. So now we're gonna single crochet into the final two stitches that are left. So one and the last one here is, is two. And then it says to bring back around the other side. So just bring this and fold this over in front of you and jump right over into the first stitch of that. So it says bring the other side of the leg around and one single crochet in each of the first three. So you did three on this side so there will be three done on this side. So one, two, and three. So what you're looking at here, this is the back of the leg that's open. So we're gonna have to show, sew that shut later and this is the back of the heel. So now we're gonna turn and it says one single crochet in each of the next uh, four single crochets. So what we have to do is chain up one and one single crochet in each of the next four. So we just go one, two, three, and four. Just like that. And then we turn our work and it says chain one and one single crochet in each of the next two. So just Okay, so just chain up one, one single crochet in each of the next two. And then turn our work just like this. And it says chain one, one single crochet in each of the next two. So there was only two left anyway. So one and two. Okay, and so now we're gonna turn our work again. And what we're going to do is that we are going to chain one and single crochet in each of the next two and one single crochet along the single long uh, along the side here. So we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna go single crochet here and here and then we're gonna do one more single crochet along the row below. So down right here. So go to the next stitch available to you and there's that one. Okay, so we're gonna turn our work and we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna do one single crochet in each of the next three. So one, two, and three on the top and then one single crochet along the next row down here. So you're thinking to yourself, you have an open space, you're gonna be sewing that closed later. So turn your work and we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna single crochet along the four. So one, two, three, and four. And guess where the fifth one is? The next one is the next one in the row. So down here. And then turn your work. So you can see the heels starting to actually form. So turn your work. And now let's continue. So you're gonna chain up one, one single crochet in each of the next five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And where's the next one? The next one's down back here on the row, way down here. And then turn your work, chain up one, and single crochet in each of the next six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And the last one is down here on the row. Okay, and then chain up one and you're gonna single crochet into the next seven. Okay, this is the last time you're doing the heels. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then the last one is down on the row. Okay, so it's right there. 
and that's it. So you're gonna fasten off. So you can see it actually did the corner turn of what you needed to do and now we're gonna continue. So just fasten that off. Just take your time reading those instructions as you go and what we're going to do later is that we're going to then just do some final touches with some sewing of the spaces that were left as you did that. So we're just gonna leave that strand in there for now. So let's continue on and move on to the foot area and let's begin. So now that the heel is in, all I'm just gonna do now is that I'm going to start doing the base of the foot area. So we have to do a few sections of this and then we're gonna taper off at the end. So this is actually take number two. So you wanna skip the first three on the heel. So one, two, and three and go to the fourth and you want to attach it. And you want to just attach it with a slip stitch and then just chain one and one single crochet into that same one just like that. So what you wanna do is that you wanna fill in the rest of these stitches that you see here and so you're just gonna do one single crochet into each as you go. And then you wanna skip the first one on the leg, okay, and go to the second. And you're just gonna go across the leg section in the, in the front. So by skipping what it's doing is creating that bend for you. And when you come back around you're gonna skip the one that's just right before this one so that it's gonna skip this one and you're gonna go back to the heel and you're gonna fill in the remaining of those three stitches that you skipped before. Just like that. So now you're gonna turn your work and then just chain one and one single crochet into each going across. Now this is my second time filming this. I did it first time and I just skipped too many stitches as I did it so I'm refilming it. Now that I understand the pattern better it's easier for me to teach it too. So you go all the way back across to where you had started and then what you're gonna just do then is that you're going to do it one more time. So just turn your work like that and then just chain up one and single crochet back all the way across again one more time. So then that will be the end of doing this color here. So this keeps the seam line at the base of the foot area instead of being on the top and so visible. And then when you get to the end here you're just going to fasten off. So get rid of this color now and we're gonna bring back white for three more rows. So the first two are gonna be exactly what you already know so let's just fasten that off. Let's get our white back up and into our hands again. So for the first two rows it's gonna be identical to what you've already been doing. So just attach it to the first one with the slip stitch. So chain one and uh, single crochet into the first one and then single crochet all the way across again. And then when you get to the other side you're just gonna turn your work and single crochet back and then we are going to do one row of doing a taper and then that's it. So then you just have to come back and sew everything into position as you go. So you're getting right to the end. So turn your work, chain one and single crochet back. This looks a lot better than the first take I did. The first take because I had skipped too many stitches I ended up with the really narrow um, base of the foot area. Didn't make any sense when you looked at it. So once you're back on the other side here, all you're just going to do then is just turn your work and let's do the final row together. So you're gonna chain up one and put the first two together. Okay, so you just, how you do that is you go into the first one, pull through, go into the next one, pull through, and then pull through all three loops and you're putting two stitches together and you keep doing that all the way across and that'll create a nice taper look all the way. 
So even if you're off by a stitch, usually it doesn't matter with these kind of ideas too much. And then that's it. So you're gonna leave an extra long of this white and we're gonna use this white then to be able to sew that into position at the top. So right now as it appears is that you have the open backing of the stocking which is right. Okay, so you have an open back. You just gotta just correct the heel just a little bit just by sewing it a little bit. You gotta correct the front here and then just sew along the base here. So let's uh, just showing you some sewing techniques in order to do that and get rid of any loose ends that you may have at this point. So using your darning needle and the extra long strand, you can actually do a few things here. You can actually use this strand to do all of the white section at one time. Do not use this white to go over any red sections that you need to close. So right where you are right now, you just want to be able to just go across with the whip stitch. Okay, and just close in that top front area. So I'm going towards the front of the foot and then back down. So now what I want to do is that I want to take this back area where the, it is in the front of the foot and I wanna whip stitch that around too. So I'm closing it all off just within there. And do a nice job of that and get right to the white section and then that's it. So now what you wanna just do is just go up underneath the stitch work and head towards the heel and I want you to close in that heel. So when you go to pull that, make sure it doesn't actually do anything with this string to be too tight. So now you're just gonna close up this heel if, you, if it was open on you. And then once you're done that, just go back in the inside and then head up the leg. And then in the top of the leg here, just close it off here. So just come out somewhere that makes sense. Just make sure there's no friction, like a, no extra pull to it and then just go across your white. So the white that you're dragging across is that it can be put into the inside when we go to do the red next. Okay, so we're just closing off this at the back. So once you're satisfied with that, then just go in and out of the work a total of three times. Maybe I should have left an extra long strand there, but I didn't. So you gotta suffer the consequences of it. <laughs> so I got one. And I wanna go in and out of the work a total of three times. It's almost painful to watch, isn't it? <laughs> That's what happens when you see somebody doing something on camera. So let's go back and forth a total of three times. So that was two and then three. So I would have left a, if I do my second one, just leave an extra long strand there and then you don't have to suffer through that. So then, and then just trim it down to the project. So now what we want to do is we wanna take our red and we wanna close in the red section and then jump over it and then close off the red at the very base of it just like you see here. So let's take our red and we're going to create a slip knot to begin. And we're gonna put the needle on the other side of it and we're gonna come up through the inside of this stocking. So come up from the inside and out. So come up from the inside. Don't pull all the way through. You wanna leave it so that the slip knot is exposed and then come to the other side and then back into the middle and then through that slip knot. What that's doing, it's locking onto itself. There you go. Okay. So now we're gonna come back out now that we've gone through the slip knot and just whip stitch the back section. The white um, that we did is going to be in there somewhere. So you just wanna make sure you just tuck it in underneath when you go to do that so that it's on the inside of the stocking still. So just tuck any whites that you see out of the way so that it's not exposed. And if you do a good job then it will be really hidden really quite well. Now we're just gonna head towards, so just go on the inside of the stocking and just drag the yarn through and then come out so that you're at the base of the, of the foot. Just make sure you stretch it out before you do it and then just go across and whip stitch it.
just as like you see here. And then once you're whip stitched and happy, I want you just to be able to shape it. And then we need to get rid of this yarn. So how we do that is just that we just glide it in and out of the red section only back and forth three times. So one, two, and three. So what's missing on this? Well we need to hang it from somewhere, right? So we need to put the hanging loop on. So once you got this all done, just trim it. And now we gotta apply that. Let's get rid of our loose strand here at the beginning. So this is the loose strand that was hanging out. This is part of the slip stitch. Just throw it onto the needle. And what I want you to do is just drag it through the back section of the, of the red and have it pop out of the back of the stocking. And then you can just trim it because now it's through something else. Okay, so there is your stocking so far. So we just gotta shape it and now we gotta put the back loop on. So there you go. So you can see it looks pretty similar and that's pretty cool. So let's uh, begin to do the back loop of this. So let's do the back loop and just create an extra long tail to begin. Chain up nine. So this is how we've been doing our loops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Leave an extra long tail, trim. Okay, pull it up and yank on it and yank. Fold it in half and just stretch it out. Make sure the strands are the same length. If they're not, just make them the same. And then throw those onto a darning needle. Both of them at the same time. Now using your stocking, I want you to go up and stay towards the back side of it. So the back of the heel also to the back of the stocking and pull through to the loop is then at the top. Come through the loop and back down through the project. Pull on it tight, back through the loop again and then back through the project. And then I want you to get rid of this yarn. So what we're just gonna do is just go back and forth in the project a total of three times. So one and two and three. Just like you see and the stocking is then complete. So here's your stocking. Pretty cute isn't it? So you just gotta put some little candy in there or something and use it for your advent. But this is really cute decoration even for your tree for even miniature trees. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as yarnspirations.com. These are the Crochet Mini Stockings. We'll see you again real soon. And the next one up is the Reindeer. And that's coming up soon.